Okay, in this video, we're going to use effects in Adobe. So a lot of these effects are more commonly used in Photoshop. However, some of them are used in Adobe. So at the bottom, you have examples of all the effects. You want to try to closely match those. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to select the first one. So the first one we're going to do is zigzag. Okay, so you select his main. All right, and we're going to go to effect. So So you're going to select this main and you're going to go to effect. And the very first one we're going to use is in distort and transform. And it's the zigzag effect. So if you look, you've got your zigzag box that opens. We're going to click preview so we can kind of see where he's at. And then you want to just up the size to about 0.2. And we want to take this down to right here to three ridges per segment three. You can smooth and corner it so you can see how that affects it. We're going to leave it on corner because that's what it is down here. And we're going to click OK. And just like that, you've created your effect. So the rest of these, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pucker and bloat in the effects. Okay, so under distort and transform, you have pucker and bloat. We're going to preview so that we know what it looks like. We want to go up to 20%. Click OK. That looks pretty similar. You might want to go less than 20% on that one. The next is a pucker and bloat in the opposite direction. So effect. Let's go to pucker and bloat. And now we're going to go in the opposite direction. Make sure you preview it. And this is going to be right at 20% again. Click OK. All right, the next one is going to be a zigzag again. So we're going to go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Zigzag. This one's going to be Smooth. And it's going to be 2, it looks like. And we're going to go just like this. Let's see. So we want to go relative 2% and 1 to make it look very close to this. Click OK. Boom. The next is roughen. So effect. Distort and transform. We're going to go to roughen. All right. I'm going to preview it. I just try to get it close. This is this is fine. You're roughening it, roughing it. Then the next one you're going to go to effect, and if you go to a certain transform, you'll notice it's not there. So what you're going to have to do is come down to stylize, and we're going to go to outer glow. Make sure you click preview. We're going to use a white color here for the outer glow. <clears throat> you can turn the opacity up to 100 and the blur up to 0.1. Click OK. Just like that, you're good. You can go to Effect for the last one, and you're going to go back to Stylize and Scribble. And again, you want to preview. Now, this is going to be a little bit more difficult because you got all of this stuff that has to happen. So we want to overlap by negative 2. We're going to move the variables back to 0. I want to keep those because that's going to keep it in the edge. Uh, stroke width is going to be 2 pixels. We're going to curviness to 10%. We're going to variation to 1%. We're going to up our spacing to 6%. And the variation is going to be about 6. Okay. Then you're going to bring your angle down to 0. And you're 
click OK. And that's pretty similar. All right. Once you've got that done, you're good to go. Turn it in. Way to go, guys.